Hello, my name is Austin Patterson, and today I will be showing you how to make an epic teaser in five minutes or less. Let's go check it out. Okay, so now we're in Pre Premiere Pro CC. Um, I think it's 2016 version. So first off, what you're gonna wanna do is pick out all your clips that you want. Me, personally, I didn't have any idea what this was gonna be about. I just kinda wanted something cool. So I went and filmed my little brother in the garage, as you can see here. He's in the garage. And we go different cuts. I had him do different things, and I had him go like that. And then I have him over here, 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 and then Dusty. And that was all handheld on the spot. Took five minutes to do. Um, so that's your first thing. You need to get your clips, the ones that you want. So after you get your footage, you're gonna need a deep voice to announce everything. Super epic, like this summer. Okay, now we're gonna go to the narration of the whole thing, which kind of sells it even more. So, we're gonna go to Adobe Audition. I use everything, frick, my mouse. Uh, I use everything in Adobe. Um, and then we're just gonna start right here. Go ahead and make a new audio file. I'm gonna call it Awesome Vocals, because obviously it was pretty awesome. Okay, and now we're recording and basically talk in the deepest voice you have in order to get the best recording for the sound that you want. All right, so there's my recording right here. Let's hear it back, okay? And now we're recording and basically talk in the deepest voice you have in order to get the best recording for the sound that you want. So, obviously my voice isn't crazy announcer-esque, but I like it, I think it's cool. Um, we're gonna go first, there's, there's all kinds of stuff that you can do for me. Let's go ahead and do the pitch shifter. I usually put it around minus three. It sounds the most natural, so we can hear it actually while we play it. Go ahead and press the space bar. And now we're recording and basically talk in the deepest voice you have in order to get the best recording for the sound that you want. As you can tell, it's pretty deep already. That's kind of cool. Um, I'm gonna give it like minus five. Let's hear this. Okay. And now we're recording and basically talk in the deepest voice you have in order to get the best recording for you can mess around with this one. For the sound that you want. Oh, I like that one. Let's go to minus okay. four. Okay. And now we're recording and basically talk in the deepest voice you have in order to get the best recording for the sound that you... Yeah, I like that one. So then we go over here. We're going to add a little bit of echo. A little tiny bit of echo. Okay. And now we're recording and basically talk in the deepest voice... Yep, that's fine. Um, let's go to, I think I did a little bit of, uh, a little bit of reverb, let's go. You have, in order to get the best recording for the sound that you want. Okay. And now we're recording and basically talking the deepest voice you have in order to get the best. Yeah, so that's cool. Um, you're gonna need to amplify it after you do some of these effects because they lower it a lot. Usually I could go back up to 10. Yeah, it might be a little loud. And now we're recording and basically talk in the deepest voice you have in order to get the best recording for the sound that you want. So that's basically what I did. I played with all the effects to make it sound exactly how I wanted it. And I came up with something that was super cool and super deep. So here, let's go and check it out in the real project. Summer. Yeah, so that's all it was. Okay, now that we are in our first title, let's just call it Austin is Awesome. Because that's what we do. Uh, we want to be truthful in everything we do, right? So we go ahead and do that. Boom, boom, center it, boom. Now what you're going to need to do is do a new solid. You know, it doesn't really matter. This right here is going to be our... Saber la la layer. So this is cool. Saber is really awesome. You can mess around with all kinds of stuff and have it do some weird things, some cool things. Like go crazy with this one. And like as far as like these go, crazy stuff. I mean that's a cool title right there. It's not really doesn't really mean anything, but uh, we want it to be on our text. So what I do is go to customize core, core type, saber, put it to text layer. Go to text layer, go to Austin is awesome. And now it's applied to our text. So we're gonna take that down a little bit. 
Let me take that down too. Um, let's do the different one. Good night. Why are these so crazy? Um. Hey, here's a cool one. Just these effects are just so cool. So, now that we have all this, let's go ahead and make this a 3D layer. New camera, make a new camera, doesn't really matter. It's up to you. And now we have something really cool. Let's first off turn off that layer. So now we have something really cool. Let's keyframe it in. I'm sure you all know how to do this. Basically, position, boom. Let's go to seven seconds and turn it like that, boom. And let's see what we got. All right, cool. So it rendered out for me. Um, and this is what we got. This actually looks really cool by itself, but uh, if you want to make it extra awesome, I suggest you go ahead and play with all the settings, add some things to the background and the foreground. For me, I added some fog, um, some other little things and everything, but um, this is good enough. This is good enough for your five minute trailer. <laughs> That's it. Literally don't spend that much time on this one because it's going to be so quick. And there you go. You got your title, your cool looking title that looks like you took a little more than five seconds to do. Uh, then you export that, bring it into your project on every time that you want it, like I did here. And I came up and I got this. Actually, you know what? Let's take off that layer. This is the raw footage. Coming this summer. So that was my title, as you can tell. Coming this summer. The sound effects sell it, though. We got this one. Here's some other titles. One kid, one mission. And you can see in this one I have a little bit of smoke coming up from up here, but you can't really tell that much. I think later on. Okay, so we got our whole titles, our video sequences all put together. Now you gotta do your sound effects, put them in where you want. After you got your voiceovers, your titles, and your clips, you're gonna need to color correct and you're gonna add sound effects. This is the thing that finishes off and makes it look professional. And then the sound effects I got from the Video Copilot plugin, or not plugin, from the Video Copilot pack where you get 2,000 sound effects for, I think it was around $200 or something like that. But it's definitely worth it because you don't have to go through the whole process of looking up sound effects on your own and going to like free sound and stuff like that. It's all right there for you. And these are epic sound effects. Let me Let me show you a little bit of what we got going on here for sound effects. I keep them all in one file. I'm actually building a little library. Here's all mine. But this is what you get when you go to videocopilot.net to get your sound effect. Here's the bass drops. Actually, no, this is free sound. Once you get this is bass drops. So you kind of just pick which ones you like the most. For me, obviously, the first one you can tell is coming this summer. And we're listening to sound effects, so. All right, so now we have our adjustment layer right here. We're gonna bring it in, slap it onto the whole project. You know what, let's move it up to the whole project. Actually, we don't go over that part. So right here, we have our whole project and stuff like that. First off, what we're gonna do is go to effects. Go to video effects. Go to transform, crop, put our crop in. I like to go, if I wanted to make it look more cinematic, I go 15% top and 15% on the bottom crop. So now we get these bars. And you'll notice that you could take them on and off by clicking the hide button. For me, this is what I used, boom. But I'll show you the colors in a second. So now we have our bars. Now let's go to our colors. Now, Adobe Premiere has this cool color panel here. And what it does is it gives you the ability to do some crazy things with some different effects. So first off, let's start with this. As far as our composition goes, looks good and all. It's blurry at this point. Let's go to a different one. The titles won't really matter. They kind of just match. This is our big effects. Um, one so let's just make it good for this one you can play around with these these are different presets that kind of fall in your whole project as a whole it's pretty cool pretty exciting you can do all kinds of stuff with them Ooh, kind of like that one let's warm it up a little bit 
Make it all nice and party. Yeah, right there. I mean, it looks like a movie. You know, I think it looks like a movie. I think it's cool. Um, you know, I'm not even going to mess with anything else, but you can. These are all these different, like, if you choose this one, it'll look super cool like that. Um, go back. This one's usually pretty cool, but it's really overexposed, so we're or underexposed, so we're not going to do that one. Then you got these film looks that are kind of cool, kind of interesting, little faded and stuff. But you can also play around with the fadedness of your film right here. But you know what? I actually kind of like that Fuji. That one. I don't know. I, I just really like the the filmic quality is of that for some reason it might not fit but you know what who cares it's my film i can do what i want right yeah cool <laughs> all right so what we do also is we go ahead and go to our color wheels we bring down the shadows to blue because that always looks better and we bring this up this way because that always looks better then after that um i'm gonna take this down a little bit because i don't want so much of that you know what? i'm just gonna go to none because i don't want to mess with None, you can make the reds and blues pop out a lot more. Now that we've done those corrections, I want to make it a little more warmer. You know, I think I like that. I think that looks good. You know, you could be your own critic and I could criticize you and stuff, but I like this one. So we're going to keep that. And now if we go back and play it over the other part, we get a really cool they took coloring. The one. Now, our one titles look kind of cool. One mission. Our titles look kind of different and cool, so it's kind of cool. So yeah, that's about it. We have our whole project here. Um, go ahead and watch the video. It was posted on Tuesday. Um, I hope you can appreciate this uh, tutorial. It, um, it was a lot of fun making this. It was really quick. Um, and I hope you learned something. So uh, catch you next time. This is Austin Patterson from I Am New Productions. We'll see you later.